To my subscribers, sorry, I said I was done with this guy, but I really can't just sit idly by as he spreads his poisonous message of din disinformation as fact. This is a message to how the world works. You are spreading bullshit information, and it is my intention to weed through every one of your points from the deep thoughts and expert ignorance playlists and provide the correct, missing, or other relevant information which you may have conveniently skipped out on. Before I begin, I would like to say something. Opinion cannot put a dent in fact. Simply because you assert a position and back it up with a couple random facts and a quote does not mean that your position is valid or true. I would like to explain the difference between a debate and what you are in the business of doing. A debate is a contest in which debaters argue for their side. The winner of this debate is determined by who represented their argument better and discredited the opponent's arguments. The reason I point this out is because of even if the majority decides that you argued better on something, for example the Thunderfoot case, which frankly I don't think the majority did decide that, you just quote mind, the actual facts about the claim remain just as valid. Without further ado, let's get started. For most of you that watch my videos, you know that I detest environmentalists. Not because some environmentalists might have good intentions, but largely because the results have been disastrous, especially for the poorest people around the world. One of the major examples of this is the move to remove DDT from Africa. Many people know DDT is the cheapest and most effective form of killing mosquitoes, and it largely eradicated malaria in North America and Europe. What How the World Works fails to mention are any drawbacks of DDT use. For anyone who may not know, DDT is a pesticide, a poison, primarily used to kill mosquitoes. The first thing that came to mind for me when watching this video was the old story of the day they parachuted cats into Borneo. Yes, they parachuted cats into Borneo. As I've already done a video reading the story, I'll leave this to an annotation. How the World Works goes on to talk about Rachel Carson's book, Silent Spring, and how it caused the mass removal of DDT from use. Even though DDT never killed a single person. What How the World Works doesn't go into is that DDT use has been documented as a cancer-causing agent. It also threatens the ecosystem, and in particular, bird species. The peregrine falcon was almost wiped out of existence, and the bald eagle was severely threatened by DDT use. The DDT altered the bird's calcium processes, which led to birds laying thinner eggshells. The result was that the offspring couldn't be contained and the baby birds would die. Furthermore, surprise surprise, organochlorines like DDT have long been documented to alter bone density and structure in animals. It makes our skeletal structures weaker. It affects our calcium. He then goes on to say that millions are dying of malaria, as if to add some justification to the use of DDT. Remember, he never mentioned any negatives. That all came from this video. It's an attempt to rally his audience to a cause, as if there's some sort of miracle solution out there, and the only reason it's not being used is because some of those stupid environmentalists. I'd like to relate DDT use to another chemical compound, currently being used by the U.S. in particular, as a herbicide, atrazine. And from here, I will hide it to flow for love of water. One of the most extraordinary examples of that is the most common pesticide sprayed in the United States, atrazine. Atrazine itself is an herbicide or a weed killer. And it's used on, on products such as corn. It is the number one contaminant found in drinking water and groundwater and surface water. Initially, we were contracted by Syngenta, the makers of atrazine. And their interest was in trying to understand whether or not, so they said, whether or not atrazine could function as an endocrine disruptor, meaning could it interfere with hormones such as thyroid hormone, testosterone, estrogen? We found that atrazine had a number of effects, but most significantly, atrazine demasculized the exposed male frogs. I would even say chemically castrated. We went on to show that in addition to being demasculized, they were also feminized. So in other words, male amphibians would grow ovaries and, and even produce eggs fish show similar effects. Their sperm counts drop and they start to make egg yolk protein. Does that mean that atrazine is causing a global decline in sperm counts in men? Again, the experimental and the epidemiological data suggest that atrazine may play a very significant role. I bring this up to illustrate a point. Pesticides and herbicides make their way back through the water cycle and end up in us. We have to take care not to pollute our environment with toxins like DDT, for we live in a world that is ultimately connected. Simply because it has been approved for use in areas, it does not mean it's a safe pesticide or herbicide. How the World Works then goes on to talk about this show, Mind Your Own Business, and says that environmentalists are against industrial development in poor countries because, and get this, only people that are stopping them are environmentalists, largely from wealthier countries that are somehow concerned that it's going to destroy their native culture. Now frankly, that doesn't sound like an environmental issue to me. 
Yet he finishes his statement by saying, That is one of the major reasons why I'm against environmentalism. I can understand that potentially some pollution issues might cause environmentalists to be against development, but this guy really has no clue what he's talking about. Next he brings up the Tata Nano in India. He says that this revolutionary car is being held back by environmentalists because they're concerned there are going to be too many cars on the road. He feels their points are completely irrelevant since he thinks that anthropogenic climate change is a farce. I'd like to redirect anyone who would like to become more informed on this issue to Potholer54's videos on climate change. To speak to its merit, the video starts off with, I'm not going to descend into political jargon by talking about climate change believers as if the issue depends on faith rather than a strong body of evidence. And I'm not going to talk about climate change deniers as if there's an absolute and unassailable truth that they're deliberately refusing to see. I strongly recommend watching them if you aren't well informed on the subject. And I'd like to bring up one final point. This expert analogized me to a Fox News anchor and a creationist and Venom Fang X, a creationist on YouTube. That was simply a signal to his users. Don't ever watch any of his videos, ever. Just go to his channel and one star it. I know the expert didn't say that explicitly. This has to be the absolute worst bullshit you put out. It is an insult to the work of everyone, which is currently ongoing and of which Thunderfoot is a leading part of, to promote free speech and equality for all on YouTube. What you are accusing him of is essentially censorship a tool not unknown to your subscribers who went on a flagging campaign recently. I realize you never asked them to, but it is because of messages like this that they did so. If you want an example of poisoning the well, you have provided a great one. The reason Thunderfoot used those analogies was because you have the uncanny ability of putting out bullshit that takes far more time to debunk than it does to say. The total time to debunk the claims addressed in this video was approximately five times that which it took for you to spew them. You quote mine, and dodge truly addressing the issue. You claim to have annihilated rebuttals to your points, when you've done nothing but sidestep the issue and elaborate on false assumptions. You are pompous, arrogant, and claim insight which has escaped the greatest minds on the planet. You share many qualities with PCS, and many creationists. It is my intention to expose your bullshit for what it really is. Peace.